So in the previous episode with Santa Anas, um, you saw us tasting some chili sauce. Now we're making some sriracha. So maybe that's like an idea for some episodes. If you would like that, leave us a comment down there and tell me what chili sauce you would like to see or um, if you'd like me to do a series. Um, tell me a bit more about the, the test kitchen side. Well, it sort of started as a necessity <laughs> when we had too many tomatoes. Um, and peppers and, and peppers chilies and... and, and yes. Um, you know, you don't want to go and throw everything on the compost heap. Um, and then, yeah, we also started things like the Sri Racha because it's something different. And... And we love eating chili sauce. <laughs> Um, we haven't bought Tabasco in about six years now. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's just to explain that that's the way that we do things. Um, and then it's like, hmm, I wonder what will happen if we do... I've got a uh, oak barrel in the um, test kitchen that's full of chili vinegar, for instance. Um, the previous batch we matured for 24 months. Um, came out the color of sherry, um, with actual beautiful sort of oak overturned so it's, it's like a matured wine like a wine that's been on oak for 24 months wow. um, adding that character to a bog standard chili sauce um, which is just gets mm, I wonder what would happen if you um, so a, a, a lot of yeah a lot of our stuff is experimentation you know we, we say as a joke making it up as we go along but um, yeah it's experiment it's a lifestyle isn't it it is a lifestyle yeah, yeah. So Jalene's going to show me how she makes her sriracha sauce. Very excited for this. Okay, with the, the sriracha, it's a recipe I got off YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically also ended up with a glut of chilies. Um, and, you know, the fermenting thing was becoming you know, more common. You get your kimchi and your, all of that. And we thought, okay, well, let's try the fermented chilies. We had a couple of ones that exploded and actually ruined some of our CDs. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you take the stems of your chili, stick them in a blender with garlic and salt, blend that up and you stick it in a jar and let it ferment for at least a week. These have actually been going for almost a month, I think, possibly more. Sure, it's um, and then, yeah, now we're going to do the next step, which is Blending again. Just need to get myself a spoon. Oh, the smell. Yeah. Okay, so now what we do is this has been fermenting for about a month. Okay. So what we're going to do is just blend it up a little bit again. This one I think has a lot of habanero in it. <laughs> That is why it's a bit lighter. Nice. <laughs> okay, now. Okay, so now we've done the blending. Now what we need to do is get the juice away from the solids. Right. <laughs> That's chilly. <laughs> hey Alex. Hey. Ooh, that looks good. The manual method. So, so is that then essentially the sriracha sauce at the bottom? Yes. Now what we're going to do once we've got the, the juices out is you cook it because you want to start stop the fermenting process and then you just add a little bit of sugar for the flavour. But basically, yeah, but we also, if it's very thick like this, we add some um, apple cider vinegar sometimes as well just to thin it out a bit so you can actually pour. <laughs> and vinegar is also a uh, natural preservative, preservative yeah. right? I remember with my Eric Todd days, that was our <laughs> yes. 
That was our natural preservative, was vinegar. Yes, vinegar and lemon juice. Yeah. This also becomes a very high-end product because you'll see now how much, I mean, the amount of chilies that have gone into there and how much sauce you have to actually yeah, get out. Yeah, exactly. Just a lot of juices here at the bottom. and we're going to add some sugar for taste. So we don't like it to be too sugary, so what I do with this amount is usually about two tablespoons, but if you want it a bit sweeter, you can add more. Thank you. 